let's start. Today we will see how to plot Fibonacci pivot point levels in the TradingView Pine script. This is the indicator function with the name Fibonacci pivot points. Here we calculate yesterday's high, low, and close values using the security function. The first argument is the stock name. The second argument is the daily time frame. The third argument is the high, low, and close values with bracket 1 in front of them. The BRAC1 fetches the previous day's value here. The fourth argument handles the gaps. The fifth argument fetches higher time frame data and merges it into current bars. All this exercise prevents indicator repainting as we have seen in one of the previous videos of indicator repainting issues. Next, this is how we calculate the pivot point using the average of high, low, and close values. This is how we calculate three Fibonacci resistance values. This is how we calculate three Fibonacci support values. Here we plot the pivot level, along with three supports and three resistances. Here we have created labels for these pivot labels. We only want the labels at the last bar or the latest bar, so we delete all the previous labels over here. Let's add this indicator to the chart. As you can see, the white line is the pivot line. The green lines are the Fibonacci support lines. The red lines are the Fibonacci resistance lines. So that's it. That's how you can plot Fibonacci pivot levels in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.